One of the reasons for that is their secondary. Miles Bryant, he joins us here on the playlist. And Miles, absolute pleasure having you here with us on the show. So I say best defense in the country. What's your response to that? Um, we don't. We don't really think that at all. We just go out and play our game, and then we leave that up to you guys to decide who's the best and who's not. Miles, you know, you and I got to spend some time together on Saturday. The first thing I said to you about this interview was, don't tell me what Chris Peterson would tell me. I want you to talk a little trash. I want you to brag and boast about what you guys can do. But sure enough, as soon as the cameras start rolling, you're going to give me the company line, which is totally OK. Uh, <laughs> you, you could tell me all about this defense. You're secondary. One of the things that's maybe the most impressive thing about this unit is, or about this defense, is what's happening in that secondary. Explain to me what it's like to compete with some of these guys, because as we're watching practice, it is like stud after stud after stud that we're seeing on the field I mean every day just going out practicing we have our EDDs which are our everyday drills and we just go out there and do our footwork and eat and each of us are competing to see who has the best footwork that day and then once practice really gets rolling we try to compete to see who would have the most interceptions uh, that that's a specific day and then as a season even as the season goes we have a pick ball. Whoever ends up getting the most picks throughout the season will end up getting the ball. So just that competition that we give one another just drives us to uh, be the best that we can. You have an interesting story, which I, I do want to get to in just a second, but you're taking me through what it's like to be um, in the secondary on this football team. I'm curious the impact that some of the other guys before you had, because I think part of your decision to head to Seattle is is unique, but the Kevin Kings, the Sidney Joneses of the world, wh what are some of those guys that are now playing on Sundays? What did they do to help shape you as a football player? Um, it was just great every day just going out there and practicing with those guys and seeing how intense and how detailed they were to every, every little um, scheme within our defense. And then I think Kevin, Sidney, Buddha, all those guys, they were all perfectionists at what they did. So they wanted to get everything right to every, to every little detail. So just seeing that and then trying to implement that to help myself and then even helping the guys after me that's uh, it's, it's doing great things for our secondary and hopefully it'll do great things for our secondary in the future. All right, a, a former walk on, which I know is cool to say. I think sometimes people look at at the roles that walk ons have and maybe are, are sometimes a little confused about the impact they potentially could have. You were actually offered, though, by Washington, weren't exactly comfortable at the time to, to make the commitment to go to school in Seattle. And then sure enough, someone did. So you, you lost that scholarship spot, but yet you still have a huge role. You're on scholarship now. What's it mean for you knowing how your career started wearing that Washington uniform and where it is now? What does it mean to you to be a former walk on and have the impact that you're having? Um, to myself, it was just a leap of faith. I just trusted myself and trusted the process and believed and worked hard that I would soon become what I first envisioned I would be when I was on scholarship. And then when it didn't happen, I might have gotten down on myself, but I just kept on going and kept striving and fighting. And then soon enough, I became what I, what I envisioned myself to be. Miles, I think when people take like sort of that large macro view of this team, they're going to point to the defenses as the reason why they can have a lot of success. And there's certainly some weapons on offense. Being at practice, seeing the wide receivers and some of those guys in the secondary go head to head uh, was really impressive. People have questioned, though, what the wide receiver spot is on this team, who those playmakers are. Just how difficult can they make opposing defenses feel this season? Um, I think they can make they can make it tough for just about any defense. Our coach, uh, Coach Hamden, has drawn up some nice schemes for them, and he's putting the right guys in the right places to make plays. So I think this year it'll be uh, very exciting to see what that group can do. All right, Miles, I'm going to give you an opportunity to redeem yourself from your first answer to me. Okay, real talk now. <laughs> Everyone in college football, fans, experts, they're pointing to week number one, your guys' matchup with Auburn. Tell me what you guys privately are saying about the game. Um, we're not saying much about it. Right now we're just focused on going out there and competing each day and making each other better because that's all we can do, just take it day by day. You might not go there, but I'll say it. This is going to be an absolute epic showdown. We cannot wait to see what you guys can do against that football team. So best of luck these next couple weeks and certainly in week number one. Thank you.